Catherine Cashmore has won many top honours as a classical guitarist, but her career is under threat because now when she plays in public, the feelings she experiences go way beyond mere stage fright. Desperate, uh, terrified, um, and cautious. For most people, their suffering is a very personal affair, but some don't have the luxury of suffering in private. Standing on the stage of the Royal Opera's Otello without an audience is bad enough, but imagine 5,000 people scrutinising your every movement, where one bad comment feels like it could be the end of your career. It's something that's more important to me than just earning a living. It's, it's if you like, part of me, and the fact that that um, through just a problem of, of stage fright, of nerves, that I'm going to lose that whole whole career it is is something that to me, uh, you know, I just wouldn't want to go on. Cognitive therapy is about gaining control over unrealistically negative thoughts that may be going on inside your head. For example, I'm walking down the street and I wave to a friend, but they don't respond. Rather than say to myself, the reason they ignored me is because they don't like me, nobody likes me, I'm unlikable, cognitive therapy would aim to make me think more reasonably, to interrupt those thoughts and instead say to myself, the reason they ignored me is because they didn't see me. It sounds simple, but research shows it's very effective. To save her career and her livelihood, Catherine is turning to Dr Raj Perso for a short course of cognitive therapy. Catherine is starting the first of seven one-hour sessions in which she'll learn to change the way she thinks about herself. One of the things I want you to do is to rate your anxiety on a scale. And it's a sort of made-up scale. It's, it's not brilliantly scientifically accurate. But it's just a scale of numbers from 0 to 8. Where 8 is the most terror you've ever felt in your life. And 0 or 1 is when you're feeling so relaxed that you're almost about to fall asleep. Okay, so at the moment, if you were to rate your anxiety um, just before a performance, what would you put it at? At eight. Okay, and during a performance? At eight. You need to rely on other people to help you be realistic. Left right. to your own devices, you're having great difficulty right. being realistic. And we First, Dr. Bissot has to make Catherine realise she has completely unrealistic expectations of herself. She's always trying to please the entire audience, and when she fails, she gets depressed and anxious. It's a vicious cycle. Should everyone yeah, find maybe. you acceptable when you meet them? Um, I know people, not everybody does find me acceptable. Does but I, I have to admit that, that I do try. Yeah, is that a reasonable <laughs> that. thing to try? To try to please um, everyone? No, it's an impossible thing. So it's not a reasonable thought? No, it's, it's not a reasonable thought, no. It's not. Why? No. Why is it not reasonable? Well, because... It's, it's impossible. The next thing I then want you to do is to replace the negative thought with a positive one, which is go through all the rehearsal that you've done. I mean, you've obviously done a huge amount of rehearsal. Mm. And focus on the fact that you have played this piece very well. Mm. And then go back to some of the thoughts you used to have in the old days, which is that I want to give the audience something. I mean, that is still there, yeah, embedded, because seem... I think that's the natural reason and all these other film feelings are built yeah. up on, tap, on top. So I realise that that is the reason that I'm doing it, because yeah. underneath I'm the same person that I was however many years ago where I did used to yeah. have the enjoyable experiences from doing it. If I was to ask you to rate your anxiety now, then, um, what would it be on the scale, of our famous scale from 0 to 8? About 5, I think. OK, right. Um... For the last few weeks, Catherine has been practicing stamping out her negative and unrealistic thoughts. Now it's time to go on to the next stage. The treatment of all anxiety is to expose yourself to the mm -hmm. thing that's making you frightened and to stay with the thing that's making you frightened until the fear begins to go away by itself. Catherine is sent to play in a guitar shop to an audience of one. Is that a nerve-wracking situation? 
Yes, um, in, in a certain sense it is, but then in another sense, you know you've all, you can always stop in the middle of a piece, that you haven't got to go from beginning to end. So if something does go wrong or you want to go over a passage or you want to do it again, right. you can do that because people are only half listening. Six weeks on and Catherine is making progress. I'm going to have to call you shortly, but I want you to play one more time. <laughs> OK. Can you just ask you to rate your anxiety now that I've asked you to play? It's, it's actually still quite low. It, it is around sort of four, maybe. You sure? Yeah, I am sure. Yeah. Right, it's, OK. It's not too That's high. very low indeed. It is, <laughs> isn't it? Compared to what we've been before. <laughs> I'll fall asleep in a minute. <laughs> in fact, it's lower than what you said you wanted it to be. Before you said you wanted it to be about five. That's right. Yeah, well, it'll rise. It'll rise. <laughs> OK. Finally, Catherine practices her performance piece in front of Dr. Perso, something she's previously found very stressful. It's strange because although, you know, often, like I was saying before, the anxiety is still there and it's still at quite a height, there is certainly um, an improvement about the way that I'm dealing with the things that are happening. So that there are still things that are happening, um, but on the whole, I'm enjoying it a lot more. And they're not impeding that. And I think that's because I'm sort of relying on the knowledge that, yes, I can do it. You know, I can yeah. actually play. It's five months since she last played in public. Her first test is a small local concert. The nerves are definitely rising. I mean, I'm definitely feeling quite frightened now. Um, yeah, I'm feeling quite nervous. I'm feeling quite nervous about the whole prospect of doing it, so... Is it as bad as it has been in the past? Um, at the moment, it's not quite as bad as it has been. I think that's because I had a practice performance run through these pieces um, before I came here, and it did go OK. But I have to admit, I've still got the same fears and doubts that I did have, although my way of controlling them is a little bit better now. So I'm feeling like I can keep on top of that nerves. And I'm also feeling that if it doesn't go quite right tonight, that it's not going to be the end of the world. Do it all again. <laughs> Try to do it a bit better this time. 